To help you get the final look that we're after, we're going to utilize Maya's fields to connect into our shave and haircut system. Now I have Lesson 30 Maya fields opened up here, and uh, it's just a simple animation. Let me go ahead and run my simulation here. And it's just the hair drooping down, and that's it. Okay, so that's our animation. Now, one thing that I want to show you is, let's say we want to start off as this is our first frame. Okay, so it's kind of settled a little bit. And we want it to start off with this frame. Now, I don't have hardly any um, stiffness, I don't believe, on here. So let me crank it up a little bit more and re-simulate this. There we go. Okay, so let's say we want to start off as this frame is where we want the first frame to be. So if I go to the first, you see how it shifts? Well, that's one of those buttons that we haven't talked about yet, which is this button right here, Replace Rest Position. So if I choose this, now when I go back to the first frame, this is where we start. Okay, And from here, I'll go ahead and go to Dynamics, run the simulation, and you see we have very little settling. Okay, It's already figured itself out. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and create our first field. Now, we don't need to have anything selected. By default, all of the fields okay, are going to affect the hair system. So I'll put in an air field here. And we'll go ahead and move that back and up like this. And let's go ahead and simulate this. Now you see a little bit of movement, and that movement is coming from this direction right here as well as this magnitude. Well, we can affect how these hairs uh, react by going into the render uh, shave globals, here we go, and adjusting gravity. So if I set this to let's say 0.5 and re-simulate, now we have some lift involved. Well, I usually don't like to adjust this gravity multiple, so we're going to leave this at the default 1. Okay, uh, but this time we'll in actually increase the magnitude to something like 8. There we go. So now we're starting to get some lift in the hair. Now it's holding this shape because of the uh, stiffness attribute that we have on here. So if we were to take this down to 0 and re-simulate, we're going to get a completely different reaction. Okay, you're going to stand all the hairs up on end. Now, you notice my workflow has been make a change, re-simulate, make a change, re-simulate. Well, we have an, a tool available to us that will allow us to stay on one frame and continue simulating as we tweak, and that's called the Live Mode. So you go to Shave, Dynamics, Live Mode. It's going to take it a second, and it's going to start the simulation. Okay, and what's unique about this is notice it's still on frame one, so it wouldn't simulate if you had a character animated. The animation would be frozen on whatever frame you're on. But here's this. Now watch, as I increase the stiffness, we can see it live on our scene. So here we can adjust maybe the direction. We'll set this to negative one. We want to blow them back, blow the hairs back. Okay. And if we wanted to increase this magnitude, there we go. Maybe we can pull it down a little bit. So you can see how it's very interactive. Now, the only thing that you need to keep in mind is once you turn this off, it goes back to where it was. Well, you have to simulate out that cache. Okay, so it still has to do that amount of work. All right, so let's play this back. Okay, so by default, every field in Maya is automatically connected to the hair. You don't have to have it selected. So we can go back and add something like a turbulence field. Let's we'll just put this above the head here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and go into live mode. Give it a second. And let's set this magnitude to 15. We're going to greatly increase it. And there we go. We can start to see some of those hairs moving. Okay, and you could write yourself a, um, a expression to randomize this. We're not going to get into that. If you want to learn more about fields, we actually have a whole training kit dedicated to particles and fields uh, to learn more about how these work. Okay, so we can, we can animate this coming through the head. You notice how it updates automatically. But keep in mind that as we stop this, it does reset. We do have to re-simulate. 
There we go. So that's a very quick and easy way of accessing some of these very powerful um, fields. You notice there's a bunch of them. And if you need to localize the effect, all you have to do is change this from uh, a volume shape of none to an actual shape. So now if your hair, if the hair is not in this cube, it will not simulate. So I'll play this back. You notice the hair drops right back. Okay. But watch what happens if I put this cube towards the back of the head. So anything encapsulated in this back of the head is going to get simulated differently. So you notice how these hairs now get puffed out like this. So you can localize your simulation this way by using these volumes. And that is a quick and easy look at how to use the Maya fields within your shave and a haircut hairs.